Now, we are trying to talk about how we get the equation of a circle straight when we are given some conditions. And what are the conditions that we might be given to get the equation of the circle? They can give us the center and radius. We might be given the center and the point on the circle. When we are given the center and the radius, all we just need to do is to say x minus the x coordinate of the center, y minus the y coordinate of the center, we square the two, and it's equal to the radius. Center and the point of the circle. We know what to do about that. We find the radius, and then we find the equation of the circle. When we are given three points on the circle, if we have four points, the points will be concentric. All we need is three points. If we are given two points, it will work. It defines several circles. One point cannot even work at all. When we are given, the, and also we can we might be given the ends of a diameter. That is the two ends of the diameter. When we are given something like this, we might be given this point and this point. So with this, they are very and it's very easy to do all this. Workings. Let's start with center and radius. Now let's see. Assuming we are given center HK and we are given the radius R. Just like when we started this, all we need to do is to look at it like this. This is the circle. And this is the radius R. XY. So HK. So from a line equation, knowledge of straight line equation, we know that x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the distance. E is equal to r squared. Same like a Pythagoras theorem. So by solving this, we have already answered the equation. Once we are given the center and the radius. Now, let's assume we are given in a question that the center of the circle is HK and the point on the circle is AB. One point on the circle is AB. Now, we should find the equation of the circle. We can do this. So this is AB and this is HK. And so we also have this, let's say XY. I mean, now looking at this, we know that this is R, this is R. Straightforward. All we need to do, just like so that it will be easy like the last one, is to find R. Let's find R. R squared is equal to A minus B. No. A minus H squared plus B minus K squared. Please, I believe you follow the trend of the points given. H is the X coordinate of the center. K is the Y coordinate of the center. A is the X coordinate on the circle, of a point on the circle. And B is the Y coordinate of that same point on the circle. So we can say this is our R squared. At the same time, for our general point, which is X, Y, we can also say R squared is equal to X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared. Therefore, for ease, all you just need to do is to say x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to a minus h squared plus b minus k squared. Once you can work this out, this gives you 
your radius straight forward and then expanding this you will get the final solution to the question now we have 0 minus 3 2 1 4 3 we have these points and from our knowledge of self we know that the bisector of this okay, we meet at the center now let's find the equation of the bisector to find that we have to find the point of the mid of the middle of fish so let's see from 0 to minus from 0 and minus 3 to 2 1 the center will be 2 plus 0 over 2 and we have this one minus 3 plus 1 over 2 so their points the midpoint is going to be 1 and minus 1 the gradient here is going to be so gradient of the line is going to be 2 1 minus minus 3 over 2 minus 0 that is 4 over 2 is equal to 2 therefore the gradient of the perpendicular bisector is going to be minus half gradient of perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector now for this point two let's find the midpoint the point here is going to be 2 plus 4 over 2 and 1 plus 3 over 2. That gives me 2 and 3 and 2. So that is this point. 3 and 2. Now, what is the equation of the line 2 from this point to this point? The gradient, sorry. So we have Three minus one over four minus two, and that gives me two over two. So gradient of the perpendicular bisector is equal to minus one. Now let's get the equation of the perpendicular bisector of these lines. So for the first one, we have. y minus minus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to minus half. So we have y plus 1 over x minus 1. That gives me 2y plus 2 is equal to 1 minus x. So 2y plus x equals to minus 1. 2y plus x equals to minus 1. For this one. Now for this perpendicular bisector, we have the gradient to be minus 1. And the points are this. So y minus 2 over x minus 3 is equal to minus 1. What does that give me? It gives me y minus 2 is equal to 3 minus x. So y plus x is equal to 5. That's what this one gives me. So that's equation 2. Now, let me find, let me subtract equation 2 from 1. So I have y to be equal to minus 6 
And from this, I can find x. Just substituting y into equation 2. So I have minus 6 plus x is equal to 5. So I have x a. Yeah. x is equal to 5 plus 6, which is equal to 11. So the center, the coordinates of the center is going to be 11 minus 6. That is the coordinate of the center. To find the radius, to find the radius, R. Now, R squared will be equal to the distance from the cent from the from any point on the circle to the center. So I have 0 minus 11 plus minus 3 minus minus 6 all squared. This gives me 11 squared plus 3 squared. 1, 2, 1 plus 9 is equal to 1 third. So, equation of the circle. going to be x minus 11 plus y plus 6 squared is equal to 1, 3, 0. I have to expand to make it simple at the same time. So it's going to be x squared plus 1, 2, 1 minus 22x plus y squared plus 36 plus 12y is equal to 1, 3, 0. So I have x squared plus y squared minus 22y, 22x plus 12y, 1, 2, 1 plus 36. That's going to be, okay, this one is going to give me 9 minus 9 plus 27 equals 0. So that is the equation of the circle we have been trying to derive. So that is it. It's very straightforward. There are still some other ways we can go about this. We can also look at it from this perspective using our general equation or just plotting it into the normal derivation formula that is x minus center where um, the distance between the center and the circumference is equal to the radius. So from there we can get our equation of the circle. Let's see what we can do about that. Now, looking at, the anod at another way of getting the equation where we are given three points. I have highlighted the simple process here. I said, let's center the HK and the radius be R. Now, from the information we are given, we know that 2, 1, 0, minus 3, and 4, 3 are on the circumference. So, our radius, our equation will now be 2 minus h squared plus 1 minus k squared is equal to r squared. That's 1. 0 minus h squared plus minus 3 minus k squared is equal to r squared. 2. 4 minus h squared plus 3 minus k squared is equal to r squared. That's 3. Now, let's subtract equation 2 from 1. That's what I denoted here. I have 2 minus h squared minus h squared plus 1 minus k squared minus minus 3 minus k bracket squared. So by the time you subtracted the 2, we have 0. So I use the knowledge of um, difference of 2 squares here. So using the knowledge of difference of 2 squares, I have 2 squares. 2 minus h plus h 
into 2 minus h minus h. 1 minus k, no, when I add it, and this one is for the difference. So it gives me, this is what it gave me. So at the end of the day, I was able to get to h plus 2k equals to minus 1. Straightforward. I did the same thing between equation 3 and 2. I subtracted equation 2 from equation 3. So I have 4 minus h minus h squared plus 3 minus k squared minus minus 3 minus k all squared. Zero gives me 0. You know, half, half squared minus half squared. So using the difference of two squares, I was able to get 4 into 4 minus 2h bracket into minus 2k into 6. So I got 16 minus 8h minus 12k. Dividing through by 4, I got this. 4 minus 2h minus 3k. So at the end of the day, I moved everything. I had 2h plus 3k equals to 4. That gave me equation 2. So multiplying equation 1 by 2, I multiply this equation h plus 2k equals to minus 1 by 2. I got equation 3, that is 2h plus 4k equals to minus 2. I now subtract equation 2 from equation 3. Equation 2 from equation 3. I had 4k minus 3k, that gave me k. 2h minus h, 0. Minus 2 minus 4, that gave minus 6. That is the x coordinates and the y coordinates of the center. Now, substituting minus 6 in equation 1 here, I had h minus 2 minus 12, that is plus 2k. No. Minus 6 times 2 is minus 12, is equal to minus 1 is equal to minus 1. So h equals to 11. So the center is 11. And the radius are, I got by using the first one separately now. So r is root of 130. So So r is root of 130. So, you can look at it again. So, h equals to 2k. Hey, h plus 2k equals to minus 1. And the second part, I got 2h plus 3k equals to 4. So, 2. Now, another way of solving this, when we are given 3 points, is using the general equation. Look at this, we have the center, hk. Radius is r. So when we go into the general equation, we have x squared plus y squared equals to m plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. That's the general equation. Note from the general equation, c, that is this constant, is g squared plus f squared minus r squared. Our g is minus h, or our h is minus g. And our k is minus f. Please note that. Now we now substitute each of these points into our general equation. Let's take point 2, 1. 2, 1 in our general equation is going to be 4 plus 1, 2 times 2 plus n times g. That's 4g. 2 times 1 times f. That's 2f plus c. That gives us 0. Why we now use 0 0.0 and minus 3. We have 0 plus 9 plus 0 minus 6f, that is 2 times minus 3, plus c equals to 0. So at the end of the day, we have 6f minus c equals to 9. When we use 0.43, we are going to have 16 plus 9 plus 8g plus 6f plus c equals to 0 in this equation. So at the end of the day, we have 8g plus 6f plus c equals to minus 25. I call this equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Now, adding equation 1 and 2, 
this one and this one. We have 4G, 2F plus 6F is equal to 8F. C minus 6, 0. Minus 5 plus 9, that gives us 4. So, dividing through by 4, it gives this. G plus 2F equals to 1. That's equation 4. Now, adding equation 3 and 2. Equation 3 and 2. We have AG plus 12F is equal to minus 16. So, 2G plus 3F equals to minus 4. When we divide this one through by 4, that means makes equation 5. So, multiplying equation 2 by equation 4 by 2 for ease in solving this for F. Elimination method in our simultaneous equation. So, F equals to 6. So, if you take 6 back into equation 4, it gives us G plus 12 equals to 1. So, G equals to minus 11. And we have noted right from the time that our G is minus H and our F is minus K. So, to get our center, we have to multiply each by minus 1. So, our center is now 11 and minus 6. So, R square equals to 130 from what we have derived before. We can also get it from here too. So, x minus 11 squared plus y plus 6 squared is equal to 130. So, those are the major three ways of solving our equation where we are given three points on a circle.